Let's talk about the cross and repentance. The cross is more than just a symbol of the Christian faith. It's the very center of the faith itself. Because of the cross, sin and all that it does to separate us from God is atoned for. And repentance is a frequently used word in Christian circles that is also widely misunderstood. And that misunderstanding has led to centuries of confusion and frustration with Christianity itself. In Matthew, in the 26th and 27th chapter, we see a narration of the events that led up to Jesus' brutal death on the cross, and a description in unsettling detail of what that crucifixion entailed. Why would the Almighty choose this form of sacrifice when he possesses all power and knowledge and wisdom? Could he have not chosen something much more simple, more concise, less brutal, in order to make atonement for the sins of mankind? Of course he could. So the fact that he chose this path must have been intentional and not by accident. One of the things that it certainly does is it makes us take the death of Jesus personal when we look at it in greater detail. And it sends a pretty clear message. The clear message is that if Christ's embodiment on the cross of our sins gets treated with such brutality, that God must really hate sin. And it also communicates clearly that God must truly love us sinners, being willing to endure such pain and agony that we might find atonement. But that personal connection means everything when it comes to Christianity. To take the cross personal and to make it personal is the fuel that helps us towards repentance. The Bible describes it this way in 2 Corinthians in the 5th chapter, verse 14. The scripture says, For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and that therefore all died. And he died for all so that those who keep on living would no longer live for themselves, but instead for him who died for them and was raised again. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Remember that phrase. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. Knowing the love and the commitment and sacrifice of Jesus, according to this passage, is supposed to compel us, move us, motivate us to do something. And that something is to no longer see things from the same point of view, but to see things forever differently. The term in modern vernacular of Christianity is repentance. It stems in the Greek translation that the Bible was originally written in, in Jesus' time, from the word metanoia. Meta, like you would hear in the word like metamorphosis, meaning change. Noia, the root part of that word, meaning knowledge or mind, a change of mind. See, our minds need changing once they get off track from God's will, and once they get on track with sinful things, things that are unholy. And the reason this is important is because once the mind changes, our actions follow. We can all think of things from past history in the world that we used to see differently. But once new knowledge came into view, certain practices were seen as no longer okay. And it didn't take a law to get us to change those practices. We saw the wisdom once our mind was changed. The same is true when it comes to true metanoia or repentance. It causes us not to find out what all the rules of Christianity are and then try to begin to follow them as best we can. It causes us to want to or desire to follow what is right. When the heart gets in front of the actions, it is a much more sustainable way to live. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1 describes it this way. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Let your hearts be set on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, and not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ 
in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with Him in glory. We set our minds on God's viewpoint from above, and our behaviors follow after. It makes sense to do what's right, to repent, once we see things through the light of the cross. That's the cross and repentance, and if you have more questions, please text 414 659 0532 with the cross.